Twitch. Oh, it's okay. Twitch. Okay. <laughs> We've been waiting for this one. We've been waiting for this one. It's. Let's see how he plays it compared to how Barrel played it. Because <laughs> and it's carry on. are in the area. Made it. Uh, yep, there is a Sedwani here. Flash comes in, but Sylvie is here as well. There's the freeze on of the Karma, and Peter does not have Flash. So down he goes. First blood to the Twitch supports. And who says that? I think uh, so many times before. I mean, well, zero versus LeBlanc. Uh, Fiesta dies. Yeah. Scorch, I believe. I don't even know what else to say. Like, that. that is the play. Fiesta dies. He wants to dodge. Gets the root and then stays here. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, okay, they're going to try to go here on to Zeus, who is in a little bit of trouble. They do burst him down, as that is a whole lot of CC between those two. But guess who's here? It's Karia. He's level three. I don't know if he should be, though, Valdez. <laughs> I don't know if he should be. <laughs> the Twitch is like, oh, God. Get over I that wall at that exact time. And now, no flash to the top side. Zeus is going in on a Cassante. Spite onto the range minion. As, uh, okay, trying to trade it back here onto Sylvie, but not quite enough damage from Zeus, who will go down to 0 and 2 now on the top side. 100% kill participation here for Sylvie. Utility wise, not going to be as strong as a lot of the other options versus a Karma here. And he's finding himself a little bit down on experience because of all the roaming. Yeah. Does mean that Guma is up a level on Vital. It's not the biggest thing you look for with 80 carries, but still going to be nice for Guma. Don't know where Karia is. There's the Ignite. It's up now. The slow comes down onto Karia, which is Vital, as now they're trying to snipe him down. Very nicely handled from the side of the Nongshin bottom lane. And that sheepish grin from Carry on the player cam as well. He knows he's doomed. He doesn't have flash, and they're very well aware of it. Uh, now Owner's just kind of running in here as he's going to get rooted down. Tries to trade onto Peter, who just... Blast is away from that one. That's another kill to the side of Nongshim. Goomba does have some potential to clean up, but it's we still now will be for a long time. It's going to be a little while. Faker is going to pick up that turret and put down the Azir turret as well. He's very confident. He has Flash. He's level 10 compared to like Vital and stuff like that. We are going to have the ultimate coming out here, trying to get the Flash on in. Nice sweep away, but the damage might be too much here from the side of Nongshim as he will go down to the LeBlanc. Just barely. I, uh, this game definitely leaves you with Ezreal, by the way. Uh, he can use Arcane Shift to get away. That is a lot of damage, though, and he's going to go down. That's Ezreal, by the way. <laughs> That's Ezreal, by the way. Very, very squishy. Karia will be able to pick up the kill on the backside of this, but immediately goes down. Vital is playing this game really aggressively, and he understands the vulnerabilities of this Ezreal. And Ezreal Twitch is the thing. No? Um, <laughs> should it be a thing? No. Is it a thing in this game? Yes. Will it be a thing after this game? Probably never again, actually. But is uh, uh, Nasher's Tooth, by the way. T1 normally trades these for Barons, but I don't think they have the damage in this comp. And they're just simply going to come over here late for the contest. And we'll just have to get ready. And he's able to soak a bunch of the poke that's coming out from Zeus, from Guma, from even the Azir. And this is what you can do. You throw out the Nature's Grasp, but now Owner's in a lot of trouble, and there's no real follow-up just yet. The Twitch Karia has popped the ult, though, and that is going to push them back for now as Faker, looking for the potential punish, but not going to go in on this one just yet. Still just able to do a ton of damage and push them back. Yeah, no deaths, but a turret goes down. Fiesta. Zeus dashes in. It's almost like he's trying to beat this one as Faker. Uh-oh, din din. That was a uh, very Indecisive. confusing step forward. Indecisive. Okay, a lot of these health bars very low, though. Can Vital actually finish the job is the question. Sylvie's got a sapling in the brush. T1 might just have to back away from this Drake. A lot of damage here on the oh. The flash and the chains are going to hit, and Fiesta will be able to get the shutdown on to Faker as the rest of the team is going to come in here and try to burst down this Ocean Drake. Should be able to. High risk here from T1. High risk. Really high risk for low reward. Sylvie is here. They're just going to back off of it. It's getting relatively low, but all of T1 are low as well. And they get in and take the Drake down. That is now two Ocean Drakes to the side of Nogsham against a bunch of folks. As far as setting up for something like this, owner has to ult. Well, this is one way to kill the Cassante. The Twitch is definitely going to help here as teleport has to be used. They're still going to go in on this as they teleport themselves. And now the Cassante is super low, so Fiesta has to back away. Comes Turning the ult. Into a three on one. The ult is going to catch Karia. And now Fiesta back into the fight. He is going to burst down the Twitch. As immediately Karia is not going to have any more effect on this fight. And the rest of the team 
from Nongshim, all five members here trying to punish onto Zeus, who will dodge very, very nicely onto all of that poke. A very broken up fight here is Guma with the red buff trying to kite this one out. Flashes to the team. But a lot oh, of fight coming through from the Varus. I mean, he's, he's got him trapped in here. You gotta win this fight, T1, or you're, no one's going home except in body bags here. There's no way out. Oh, man. The nice dodges again, but how do you win this fight? They're just dodging everything. Fiesta hops in, hops back, and they will take down Zeus. The rest of the team hanging around the turret, and Dundin TP's back into this one with full health. As the Azir turret will eventually go down, and they are just corralling T1, who are trying to poke them away. Trying to keep them at arm's length. This Baker gets a massive sweep onto two, but it's only two as everybody else is here. And Guma, unfortunately, is just going to get Kasante on the backside. Nomsim handled this perfectly. And we're in a really good spot now. Four kills here, a thousand gold in the lead. As Karius trying to catch any stray members who are low on health here with this cloak and trying to reveal the angle at which Nomsim is going to approach this Baron right now. <laughs> but he's very vulnerable himself. We'll have to flash the wall. And he's out of here now. T1, 30 seconds on Faker, 10 seconds on Zayus. He has a teleport, but I don't think you can contest this. There's nothing Karia can do on his own. Well, oh man. Flash? It's going to get flashed on, and the turret, or rather the, the ward here with the teleport, might be enough as Zayus is trying to come in and take down Peter. Not quite going to get it, but Fiesta is taking the beating for him. Pulls him up. He does take a bunch of damage, and the choke point control here goes to Nongshim. Zayus, he, needs, ocean. he needs an edge of night or something here because he's one of the best targets for this comp right now. These fights are just so all over the place. Owner is totally going to get caught out as Faker was with him, but Faker zipped away and Owner can't do the same. Guma has to back off here with his E. Karia hiding here, but I mean, it's such a risk to actually engage. Will he commit with the rest of T1 collapsing? I don't think it's a good call, but T1, you don't want to give this up either. Dundin actually in a little bit of trouble here because Kerry is behind him, but look at that! Fiesta takes out the Ezreal, and yes, Dundin goes down, but at what cost? As everybody on the side of T1 now is going to be totally white. I think we're going to a th game three, Valdez! I think we are going to a game three! T1 getting a little bit too close to the sun, and Nongshim say we will not be disrespected in this game. We will play it and fight it tooth and nail. And there are going to be some sheepish looks on the T1 players' faces after this game. Twitch support, another loss here. And Nongshim, Red Force, 20 kills to 7, pushing to try to end. Can they do it is the question. Owner the first to come back. And they've got a pretty nice wave. Says Juani can't really do anything against this. He's desperately trying to hold on. He does not have any help from his teammates who are not up here. He's trying to get on top of Vital. The Vital will have enough. And Karia, he's got an ult. I mean, he's got a chance. There's the Ezreal ultimate. This is a lot of damage on the members, but they just target down the Nexus. And we will have.